stuff, I guess. Um, it's just after midnight. Um, I'm about to get to bed. It's been a really productive day here in the Navi Bootcamp in Berlin. Um, we've been kind of just stratting out, playing some scrims, things like that. Um, it's been pretty busy, actually. Um, and we're all like super tired right now. So uh, I'm going to get to bed. Um, but if you want to see how today went, then we're going to need to fast forward back to the morning. Early the next morning. To get things started, I'm going to give you a kind of introduction to the video. Um, in this video, I'm going to give you a kind of tour of the house that we are staying in and that we're going to be staying in for the next two weeks or majority of two weeks. Um, give you a show of what we do in our daily routine. Uh, since we're at boot camp, we have a bit stricter schedule and we are practicing a little bit more uh, outside of the game. So we're doing the more strategy sessions and things like that. So I'm going to be kind of showing you what we do from getting up in the morning, through to scrims, through to practice, and then what we get up to after practice and even on our days off. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy it and stick around. Okay, so at the Navi Bootcamp, we have a kind of sleeping schedule where we go to bed around 2 a.m. and then wake up at 11 every day and that's a practice starts. But uh, waking up is quite an issue for some of our players, so you can see. So uh, we have our own efficient way of waking up uh, some of them, especially Joe, so I'm going to show you how we do it. Uh, okay, so this is how we do it. This is Joe's room. Byron, play it. Joe, are you awake? Are you awake? Finally awake. So for breakfast, uh, it's kind of different depending on what day it is, I guess. Uh, today, I think I'm gonna have uh, some cereal. Uh, cornflakes usually is my go-to, or I have things like uh, just like some rolls uh, with some German pepper salami, which uh, I really enjoy. Uh, the kitchen is pretty big, so we have a lot of freedom on what to make, uh, what I have for breakfast. But uh, yeah, cereal or um, like uh, bread and croissants are usually my go-to. Uh, right now in Berlin, we have really nice weather as well. So I usually tend to eat my breakfast or drink my tea slash coffee outside in the garden. We have like a nice kind of chill area around here as well. And it's kind of, kind of pleasant, I guess, just to relax in the morning before we start our day properly. And just relax relieve your mind of the stress of the stuff you have today so yeah it's pretty cool so right now i'm going to kind of explain to you uh the practice process um of how we do things when we're here uh right now we scrim which is like you know we actually play the game um around maybe four or five maps per day um, split into different times. We usually do three around the afternoon time and then two in the evening. Um, that can change. We sometimes do two, two. We sometimes do three, three. Uh, it just depends on what we want to do for the day. Uh, if we're not actually playing the game and practicing, we're usually creating like uh, strategies or talking over things that went wrong in like yesterday's practice. Um, so today, for example, uh, yesterday we kind of struggled a little bit uh, during scrims. Um, so what we're going to do today is we have some media to record with Zeronic this morning, uh, a video that we're going to make, and then after that we're probably going to watch um, someone's POV, like one of our VODs, uh, and, and go over um, why, why we played bad, what we did wrong, uh, if, if there's any small things that we can change. Um, so it's kind of a process, it's different every day, just depending on how we are playing or what we want to do for that day. All right, so we're just getting ready for scrims um, and I'm just going to kind of talk you through what I do before scrims. Uh, I usually play a couple of games of ranked in the morning uh, when I wake up, like around 12, maybe 1pm. Um, play with some friends or maybe like people like Zornik, for example, in the morning. Uh, I don't know, I like to play ranked earlier because I guess we warmed up for the day, I guess. Um, Depending on what time we have, I sometimes do like aim training as well on like separate games, like Aimtastic for example on Steam. I do for like, maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes before scrims, uh, if I have a time. I don't, I don't do it every day, but I do do it sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my personal warm-up. Um, 
we have goals, individual goals as well as team goals every day on what to improve on as a team and as an individual player. And we, and like in coordination with our coaches, we try and like complete those like once a day, like tick, tick, tick each box, if that makes sense, um, to show like a steady rate of improvement. Um, so like right now, for example, my main my main issues are like repeating comms, like in communication, I repeat things too much, uh, and it just blocks up the communication. Um, so I'm gonna be working on that specifically today and probably for the rest of the bootcamp. Um, so yeah, you yeah, know, let's see how it goes, I guess. Okay, so we've just finished scrims. Uh, they've went pretty well. Um, we're currently preparing for EU League Stage 2. Um, so we're trying some new things. It's kind of going up and down, I guess, uh, as you can expect, especially with the new roster. Um, so it's going steady and I think we're improving at a good rate. Uh, there's just some things that we need to iron out and make sure like they're ready for the start of EU League, pretty much. Um, so now that scrims are done, we are going to basically that's chill some of us play games on the pc we go out for dinner sometimes um or we just chill around the house and uh, like watch things like netflix and things like that as you see behind me we have a gaming area we can just chill that's not gaming area chill area sorry big tv on the wall we can just do whatever we want pretty much here uh it's a really great facility uh i think kendra right now is what are you doing kenny are you playing daisy yes i am playing daisy wow what a boring life yeah. What are I you doing, Daisy? Oh, I died. So I have to find a way to respawn oh. so I can go shoot people. Alright guys, well, let me start off the house tour with my room. It's a penthouse suite. We have the great view outside. Uh, so yeah, this is my room, pretty good. We have your, your uh, ensuite, full toilet, shower. Hello. Everything. So, yep, it's good. And then all the rooms are kind of like this. I'm not going to show you them all because I don't want to invade people's privacy or whatever. This is Blur's room. Uh, he has that one to himself. I'm currently sharing with uh, with saves. So, uh, yeah. We have the main lobby here. It's kind of just, I don't know, a place you can leave your shoes, to be honest. The, the house is three floors, uh, and there's rooms on every floor. You've got Kendra's room to the left, toilet on the right. We even have a like elevator or a lift, whatever you call it, in the house, because, you know, us esports pros get really sore legs every now and then and have to have to take a lift, <clears throat> you know? Here it is, the main gaming area where everybody's playing. Kenny's playing Daisy, Byron's watching Pokemon, weird. Uh, and then we have the kitchen that's built in. So uh, yeah, pretty handy to have everything so close by. Uh, yeah, we have a big garden outside. I can't really show you because it's, uh, because it's night. And there's not many lights outside, but, uh, but yeah. So we have this and then as well as the PCs, we also have like a kind of chill lounge that we can watch uh, TV on or plug it into the PCs here uh, and that gives us access to watch things like VODs and stuff like that. We have the same here if, we, if you want to um, if you want to experience that. So uh, that was kind of like the upstairs on the main floor. It's a really nice house uh, but if we go downstairs <laughs> oh it's dark down here. Oh! Ah! <gasps> Hello this is where the, um, the hobbits reside so not me, but uh, but Joe, that's Joe's room over here. I don't know why he's in the basement, but he is, we know. And then we also have like a games room here. So like, uh, oh, it's like a table tennis and stuff like that. So if you wanna chill. Uh, and then down at the bottom here, you have your, um, the lift again for those with sore legs. <laughs> then we have a, uh, like just laundry room, laundry rooms and things like that. So the house is really good. Um, you know, I couldn't really ask for anything better. Uh, I wish our coach was going to be in here with us, but due to COVID, that uh, was kind of impossible to be honest, which is a shame because I think we would have got a lot more out of the experience if we had the coaches here. Uh, but you know, it's troubling times, so we just gotta uh, we, we just gotta do what we gotta do, I guess. Um, 
So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. It doesn't seem like a lot, but the house is really good. Also, I just noticed something was filming the video. Simple has fallen off the wall. Feels bad, man. Also, one thing I forgot to tell about. Uh, so we've had a super stressful day. As I said, some things have been going up and down. And you know me, I'm super healthy. I go to the gym at least twice a day. Uh, and I do like super amount of exercises to get these gains, you know, these big muscles. But um, today, Joe has been very stressful on scrims and he's pissed me off quite a lot. So I've treated myself to an ice cream and it's gonna be one of my cheat days. Mmm. Nice. Well, Alright, so I'm just about to head to bed. Um, pretty tired. And day is over. I'm usually the first to go to bed because I'm an old man. Uh, so everyone else is a lot, pretty much. So I've got to say goodnight to the boys. Good night, boys. Good night. Good night. Yep, they're very caring. Uh, anyways, that's the video coming to an end. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the overall bootcamp experience, I guess you could say. Uh, so yeah, please make sure to subscribe to the Navi Rainbow Six YouTube channel to keep up with more content like this. Uh, and definitely come and watch us and support us uh, for the R6 EU League Stage 2, which is going to be starting very shortly and will be on every Monday and Wednesday on the Rainbow Six Twitch channel. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.